गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टडी लॉस ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट्स एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व बी ओके सो सम लॉस फॉर द सॉल्विंग एक्सपोनेंट्स प्रॉब्लम सो देर आर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट रूल विच इज मल्टीप्लाइंग पावर विद द सेम बेस ओके मल्टीप्लाइंग पावर विद द सेम बेस इट मीन्स यू कैन सी द लॉ वन ए टू द पावर एम एंड ए टू द पावर एन इक्वल्स टू ए टू द पावर एम प्लस एन इट मीन्स इफ सपोज यू कैन सी हेयर थ्री टू द पावर फाइव एंड थ्री टू द पावर टू हेयर यू कैन सी इन द बोथ केसेज देर इज ए बेस इज थ्री थ्री ओके सो इफ द बेस इज सेम ओके देन वट वी कैन डू वी कैन एड द एक्सपोनेंट मीन्स वी कैन एड द पावर मीन्स फाइव प्लस टू सो दैट इज सेवन सो दैट इज थ्री प्लस सेवन सॉरी फाइव प्लस टू सेवन सो थ्री टू द पावर सेवन सो सो द रूल द फर्स्ट रूल इज एड एक्सपोनेंट्स एड एक्सपोनेंट ओके वेर ए इज एनी नॉन जीरो नंबर एंड एम एन आर नेचुरल नंबर सो रूल फर्स्ट वन वी विल एड द एक्सपोनेंट्स इफ द बेस इज सेम ओके सो दैट इज रूल नंबर वन ना रूल नंबर टू इज दैट Divide power with the same base means rule number टू we have this is the rule number टू a to the power m and divided by a to the power n so this again we can write a to the power m divided by a to the power n we can write a m minus n means the we can subtract the exponents means if we have the common base the base are same and then what we can do we can subtract the exponents we can subtract the powers okay so that is rule number 2 Sub subtract exponents whenever the base is common base is same so what we can do we can subtract the exponents so that is rule number 2 so this is rule number 2 okay now next we have rule number 3 rule number 3 is that suppose it is written like 5 Q and then again is square. It means this three and two will multiply together. Why? You can see here we can write five into five into because inside there is a cube. So three times we can write five and then after is square. So it means two times the same thing we can write. So it means the finally what we can get we can get that five we will we will write for the sixth time. So conclusion is that let if a be any non zero number and let m and b natural number then a to the power m and again then power is n so what we can do we can multiply the both the powers means both the exponent we can multiply you can see here is 3 and 2 so this 3 and 2 will multiply so 3 to the 6 so that both the power we can multiply so this is the rule number 3 so the, that exponent multiply the powers of m and n so both the exponents will multiply so this is the rule number 3 okay now rule number 4 rule number 4 you can see if a and b are non zero numbers and n be any natural number a to the power n multiply b to the power n equals to ab power n it means here their base is different their base are different but the what is the common their powers are common their exponents are common okay you can see the when the exponents are common then what we can do we can multiply we can multiply the only base and power will be the remain same you can see the example 2 to the power 2 and 5 to the power 2 it means in the both case you can see the base is common base is here 2 and here is uh, sorry uh, the exponents are common only the base is different like 2 and 5 so what we will do 2 into 5 we will multiply so 2 5 is at 10 so you can write 10 okay and then after this 2 and this 2 you can see so we will write the only common one means common square so that's a 10 square only so that's the rule number 4 rule number 4 is that what is the rule number 4 let a and b 
any non zero number and n be natural number then a to the power n into b to the power n will be a b power n means only base will multiply and their exponent will be remain same so this is rule number 4 okay now rule number 5 rule number 5 is that zero exponent finding zeros means if the exponent is in the term of zero this is the rule number 5 a to the power 0 equals to 1 a to the power 0 equals to 1 okay so this is the rule number 5 whenever on any number the exponent is zero its a value will will always 1 okay so this is the rule number 5 so how you can see 3 to the power 3 divided 3 to the power 5 divided th uh, again 3 to the power 5 so that is 5 minus 5 0 so 3 uh, 3 to the power 0 so it means wh what we get 3 to the power 0 equals to 1 that's already we had you can see 3 to the power 5 means 3 times uh, 5 times 3 again 5 times 3 you will divide you will get 1 also you can solve by the rule number 2 means their base is same so their exponent will subtract so 3 to the power 5 minus 5 0 so 3 to the power 0 so this is nothing but 3 to the power 0 okay so this 3 to the power 0 means 1 so that's the so any base which have the power, which uh, exponent is 0 so its value will be always 1 so this five are this five rules are there okay so you have to remember and based on this we will solve exercise so the first exercise that is now we'll solve exercise 12b okay now first question one question number one we are going to solve okay evaluate so first question is that 1 minus 1 to the power 63 so how you will solve so as I, as i told that there was a rule again i just i, I write the rule that's a very important it will always will helpful you if there is a base is minus 1 if there is base minus 1 minus 1 means negative number if your base is negative number and its a exponent is a power is odd positive odd positive integer if its a exponent is odd positive integer okay so its a value will be always minus 1 its a value will be always minus 1 this is the rule number 1 rule number 2 is that if uh, again negative number okay if, what is the base negative number then after its a uh, exponent is even positive number okay e even positive already i told about this okay you know it so its answer means th the value will be always positive that is like one so whatever the base actually concept is that odd positive number so whenever you will pair because in the odd numbers there is a there is not exactly pair so if there will be not pair means one will be remain left so that's why this will be the same answer minus 1 minus 1 in the case of positive integer minus is there so it will have the pair so minus into minus we know that plus so that's why in the last we will get the plus answer so in general you have to uh, remember it if there is a negative base okay base is negative and its a exponent or power is odd so answer will be in the negative if base is negative number and its exponent is positive then its answer will be in the positive okay so this is this you must have to remember okay now here you can see what is that what is it exponent odd positive integer it means its a value will be in the negative number so minus 1 its answer will be okay okay now one more question we will do from here number 3 so question number 3 is that minus 1 it's a 
exponent is 204 so now 204 you can see so what is 204 this 204 is a even number okay so it means even positive integer is exponent so answer its a result will be in the positive so only one its answer this base will be same well one means what means this base will be the same it's a base will be answered because one into one into one so it will be only one okay actually uh, here you can see why i write the only one is, is answer because whenever you multiply one for the any number of time its answer will be same suppose there is a two so then its answer will be different two into two not two will be the answer its answer will be different okay but we will but does this sign will be remain same if minus then it will be minus only whatever the number will be there because if you multiply 2 so 2 into 2 into 2 its answer will be different but in the case of 1 it will be same because we know any number of time we multiply 1 its answer will be remain same okay so this is the so here its answer will be only 1 okay now next question next question is that question number 2 okay here i will solve question number 2 minus 12 square multiplied minus 12 to the power 5 let's solve question number 2 okay now here we are going to solve question number 2 number 2 minus 12 it's a whole square into minus 12 to the power 5 so now you we you can see if the base is common minus 12 and minus 12 okay so we know the rule you can see the rule rule number one when base are common the what is the rule you, you, you can see a to the power m into a to the power n equals to a to the power m plus n so we will write this formula so what is that a to the power m multiplied b to the power n so what is that a to the power m plus m to the power n so this is the rule a to the power m into b to the power n equals to a to the power m plus n so this is the rule number one so based on this we will solve so here is what is a a is a is 12 okay what is m m is 2 m is 2 and what is n n is 5 n is 5 m is n and a is 12 so now we will solve this question so we can write here in the place of a minus 12 m plus n what is the m 2 and what is n 5 so that we can write minus 12 m plus n 2 plus 5 7 so minus 12 to the power 7 this is our answer okay okay one more question we will solve so uh, here I will solve question number 4 minus 11 power 23 divided minus 11 uh, power th uh, 13 okay question number 4 so number 2 question number 4 minus 11 to the power 23 divided 11 minus 11 is 13 now how you can do you can see again it's a base is common minus 11 minus 11 and in between there is a always you have to see the sign here it was multiply and you can see here it is divide so there is a rule for division also there you can see rule number two rule number two if there is rule number two you can see if base is common and it is and and between that there is a division sign so what is the rule this is it's a exponent will be subtracted so now this I will use this one so first of all you write the formula what is the formula a to the power m divided a to the power n which is equals to a m minus n m minus n so this is the rule okay now 
हियर वट ए एस ए इज योर माइनस एलेवन एम इज ट्वेंटी थ्री एन इज थर्टीन ओके नाउ आई विल पुट दिस वैल्यू सो यू कैन राइट माइनस एलेवन दिस इज ए एम माइनस एन वट इज एम एम इज योर ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड वट इज एन एन इज योर थर्टीन सो माइनस थर्टीन सो नाउ यू कैन सब्ट्रैक्ट इट एलेवन दिस वन एलेवन विल बी रिमेन सेम ट्वेंटी थ्री माइनस थर्टीन इट विल यू विल गेट टेन सो माइनस एलेवन टू द पावर टेन इज योर आंसर ओके सो दिस इज फ्रॉम द रूल नंबर टू ओके नो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वन मोर क्वेश्चन आई विल सॉल्व फ्रॉम यूर ओके नंबर सेवन लेट सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन सेम फ्रॉम नंबर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू curly bracket minus 3 closed here is 4 curly bracket closed 5 so now here you can see two different exponents are there and only one base common base is minus 3 okay so here you can see for this what is the rule whenever two different powers are there two different exponents are there and it's a you can see the rule number 3 What is the rule number three? Its exponent will be multiplied. Its exponent will be multiplied. Okay. Now let's do. Okay. So, what is the formula? A to the power m, and again there is a power n. So what we can write? You can write a, and this m and n will be multiplied. M into n. m into n so this is a to the power m and again there is n then what we can do the exponents can be multiplied so same now here is a what is a minus 3 m is 4 n is 5 okay now i will use this same so minus a sorry this is this is for a minus 3 m to the power n what is m 4 and n is 5 so you can write here 4 into 5 okay now next minus 3 4 into 5 20 so your answer is minus 3 to the power 20 okay got it so this is this is by the rule number 3 okay this is law third law of the exponent okay now question number 3 evaluate first question number 1 13 to the power 0 so number 3 question number 1 13 power 0 so there is also one rule for this zero you can check the rule number 5 last rule rule number 5 whenever there is a zero okay when the exponent is zero its a value is always one its a value is always one okay so so what is the rule rule is that if exponent is zero its a value is always one okay so now here is 13 okay so you can this 13 to the power 0 it means its answer will be 1 okay one more question you can do question number 4 what is the question 500 divided 8193 and and its the power is 0 so it means there is a zero it means what will be the answer 1 answer will be 1 because we know that if the exponent is 0 if the exponent is 0 so its answer will be 1 okay its value will be 1 okay now next question number 4 we will solve simplify okay let's solve question number 4 so number 4 there is minus 6 inside minus 6 power 3 plus 
माइनस फाइव पावर फोर माइनस टू एर इज थ्री एंड एर इज टू मल्टीप्लाई टेन स्क्वायर इंटू ट्वेंटी एट बाय थर्टी नाइन पावर जीरो नॉ हाउ वी विल सॉ वन बाय वन वी विल फॉलो द स्टेप्स ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ट्राई टू रिमूव दिस एक्सपोनेंट्स ओके सो नाउ यू कैन सी हियर इफ यू विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन दिस वन सो देर इज माइनस साइन मीन्स इन साइड द दिस एक्सपोन दिस बेस इज माइनस एंड इट्स अ पावर मीन्स इट्स अ एक्सपोनेंट इज पॉजिटिव ओके सो वट विल बी द आंसर आंसर विल बी इन द नेगेटिव यू कैन सी हियर वट इज दिस रूल नंबर थ्री this rule i am talking about this rule if here just see here if the this is your base is negative your base is negative and its a exponent is odd so what will be the answer answer will be always in negative okay so that i will apply here also the same thing i will apply here so 6 for the 3 time here is 6 to the power 3 means 6 into 6 into 6 you will multiply 6 for the 3 time so when you will multiply 6 6 are 36 and 36 into 6 again so you will get 200 216 so this minus this minus will be remain same and inside then it will be minus why because i told that if the exponent is negative sorry exponent is odd number and it's a base is negative so answer will be in the negative so that is minus 216 okay and also three times minus minus into minus plus plus into minus it will be again minus so minus 216 now this plus same no minus 5 to the power 4 so that is even power okay so even power means answer will be in the positive so Four times five you can multiply. Four times five, five into five again five into five. So five five is a twenty five and twenty five into twenty five. So that will be six hundred twenty five. So when you will multiply this minus five for the four time, so you will get six hundred twenty five and it will be positive six hundred twenty five because its exponent is four means even number. Okay. Now next is here. 2 to the power 3 to the power 2 so we can apply the rule number 3 means a to the power m to the power n so that will be multiply this this rule based by the help of this rule this rule this this exponent will be multiply so now you you can write and this minus whatever the outside the bracket you write the same sign so now this 2 2 to the 2 into 3 That is six. Okay. Now ten to the power square means ten into ten. Ten into ten means two times ten. We multiply. So you will get hundred. So right here hundred. Okay. Now multiply this for this term. Twenty eight to the power zero. Twenty eight by thirty nine to the power zero. So we know that whenever exponent is zero, its value will be one. So right here one. now next step we will do so now here you can see here is the minus and here is the minus so this minus minus will multiply this two minus will multiply so minus minus we know that plus so whenever you will remove this bracket so it will be plus plus 216 got it because minus minus plus when two minus multiplied you know the table in the integers when we are multiplying integers there were a table okay in that table minus into minus plus you know it already we have studied now this there is a plus plus so right to 625 now here 2 to the power 6 means 6 2 into 2 into 2 into 6 time 2 we will multiply so when you will multiply you will get it 64 okay now 
multiply this is 100 so write here 100 and this is 1 so no need to write because you will multiply by any number by 1 you will get the same now next step you can write 216 plus 625 and this two will multiply 64 into 100 so you will get it minus 6400 got it now this two you can add this two because the both are in positive number 216 plus sorry 216 plus 625 both are positive so we can add it so you will get to 4841 minus 6400 now you can see that here is nothing nothing means plus or minus it is plus as we have here is nothing means plus okay before 841 there is no any sign it means there is a plus sign okay you know it if any number before that there is no any sign it means that is a positive number so now you know plus minus plus minus minus plus minus minus okay plus minus minus so it it means 600 uh, 6400 minus 841 we will do so you will get 5 5 5 9 5559 now as we study in the negative numbers when we are uh, adding and subtracting the negative numbers we know that if there is a plus minus so plus minus is always minus it means between 841 and 6400 there will be subtraction so that's why we subtracted now next step is that who is the greatest number 6400 okay among this 841 and 6400 who is the greatest number 6400 now before 6400 what uh, which sign is there check that minus sign so it means in the result also in the answer there will be minus sign so this is your answer okay so that uh, plus minus multiplication sign this is very important so okay so it will use everywhere so this is our solution got it okay now you can see question number five the value of three to the power uh, 2 again 3 there is a power plus curly bracket minus 2 3 and there is 3 so this question number 5 we will solve okay let solve question number 5 so this question number 5 is 3 square 3 plus curly bracket 2 there is 3 then curly bracket here is also 3 plus minus 2 to the power 3 multiplied 3 to the power 3 then after close the bracket and 8 to the power 0 curly bracket close now one by one we will follow the step so now here this rule number by the rule number 3 we can multiply this so we can write 3 to the 2 and 3 will multiply plus now you again by the rule number of rule number 3 this 2 uh, 3 into 3 will multiply okay like a to the power like a to the power m to the power n so a a to that will be a to the power m into n so this same we can do right 3 into 3 9 to so 2 to the power 9 okay and very important there is a minus sign so that's a minus okay so that that's why i keep inside the bracket now next this curly bracket is there now again this is by the rule number four you can see here this uh, power is common here is this uh, you can see its exponent is three and also is three you can see this rule number four this rule number four whenever the this this exponents are common so we can multiply the base so so this is the rule number four okay by the help of rule number four what we can do we can multiply this two and three so two three is a six 
so we so you can write here six okay two two three ja six now in the place of this three and three we will write only three okay so we will only write the three okay so this is by the rule uh, by the law rule number four now this minus sign is also there so this minus sign also we will write here okay so here i write the minus sign got it so it's a better you just keep in the bracket now here is a to the power zero a to the power zero means one okay now next step we will solve so three to the power six means how many times three we will multiply six times three into three into three into three six times so when you will multiply you will get seven hundred twenty nine got it plus inside bracket you can see two to the power nine so there is a you can see this is the odd number of this uh, exponent is odd number and it's a base in the negative so answer will be in the negative so it means your answer will be in the negative now two to the power nine how many times nine nine you can multiply for the two uh, two you can multiply two into two into two for the nine times so you will get five hundred twelve okay why minus you know it why why i write here minus 512 because it's a exponent is odd number and it's a base in the negative so answer will be in the negative now next is here 6 to the power 3 so again so 6 into 6 into 6 so you will get 6 216 okay and it will be minus sign why because you can see this base is minus the or actually i kept this minus outside so no problem let it be so there is a mi minus minus sign okay now next is that minus 1 so there is a next is minus 1 now next step we will solve it next step 729 now you can see this plus and minus so plus minus became plus into minus it will be minus okay so write 512 okay now again the same concept first i will do it uh, sorry inside bracket you can see minus and minus so minus minus plus it it means between 216 and 1 there will be addition so 216 plus 1 so you will get 217 because minus minus plus minus minus plus so 216 plus 1 217 now i will put the sign so that sign will be that uh, sign will be uh, decided by who is the greatest number among these two so 216 so before 216 which sign is there minus so it means there will be minus sign okay now we will write 729 minus 512 now you can see here is the minus and also here sorry here is the plus and minus so plus minus minus so right here minus 217 now next step this 729 this minus minus this minus and minus become plus okay so this two will be added so you will get 729 and also you can check in among these two who is the greatest 515 before that what which sign is there minus so it means we will write here minus sign now this 729 minus 729 0 so answer will be 0 got it answer will be 0 so this these are the steps that we have followed okay means one by one we followed the, all the rules and we we solved this question okay we have solved this question and always you have to remember the rule of plus minus minus plus so that rule is very important you should know okay